part 2 of simulation exercise for HR. This was the last slide that we had in part 1. Moving on to the next slide. It's 10.30 a.m. on August 25th. During the detailed damage assessment of the building, one body was discovered. It was of an employee who was supposed to be on leave. He was on his way to airport and he had stopped by to pick up something that he had left in the office. This employee had not signed the in-out register for after hours. As a result, no one noticed his absence or were aware of his presence. Questions for HR What is the policy with regard to informing the next of kin of the death of an employee while on the premises? And what is the policy with regard to enabling the next of kin to avail authorized benefits and privileges? Typically, the answer to the first question is that the police authorities are the ones who inform the next of kin of the death. What is more important is issue number two. We are in a disaster mode. Due to that, we are already going to be lagging. And with regard to a death of an employee on the organizational premises, Firstly, who was not supposed to be there and secondly, assuming he was there and he met with an untimely death, what is the policy that we can expedite for the next of kin to avail of the benefits and privileges? Being in a disaster mode with a priority on recovery, ensuring that the next of kin does not suffer undue delay is of importance. It's 11.30 a.m. and an employee who was unreachable till now has called in and says that his family had gone missing and they have discovered the bodies. He is in a state of grief and shock. Question. Are there any employee counseling options which would be applicable during a disaster situation? 10.30 p.m. on August 26th A key employee working at the alternate site He has recovered his platforms and systems and he has learned that he would have to stay for 6 to 8 weeks but he has to take care of his old parents and pets He states that he would not be able to operate for 6 weeks away from his family Questions this employee is adamant that he would like to resign. We need to replace him as it is a critical skill and resource. If we were to go through the normal procedure for recruitment, it would take time. Is there any procedure to expedite the process of recruitment? Now this person with his skill set has a premium in the market and is difficult to get. Can the company contract with the company that provides fee-for-service employees for a limited duration? This employee who has put in his resignation knows one of his colleagues having the same skill set but who is between jobs. So is a temporary hire possible? What is the procedure for temporary hire during a disaster? Some of the issues might seem blown up but the fact is and this is based on real disaster recovery operations that I have carried out which involved earthquakes which involved landslides and which involved floods that these situations do arise and it is prudent to be forewarned and hence forearmed It's 10.30 p.m. on August 26th, an employee is a single parent and she says that schools have shut down for a week. She is operating out of the secondary work location. She has two children at home and wants to bring them along to the office along with her for the duration of her work time. 
issue are there any procedures to address such deviations it may happen that during the normal operations children may not be welcome except on some particular days but in a disaster mode given the context what are the policies and procedures in place it's 10:30 a.m. on august 27th and some of the employees are still unreachable time sheets are due and these employees did work for the few days before the disaster hit so what is the action plan for such cases assuming it's a disaster mode and these employees would need the money what can be done so that these employees are not inconvenienced it's 8:30 a.m. on august 29th a backlog has been created on account of the delay in the recovery on account of the transactions that were conducted using the manual work arounds on account of the data that was lost since the last backup question can hr hire additional workers to clear the backlog and how will they be paid this again comes back to employees on a contract for a very limited duration in this case we are assuming it's a data entry job which a person with normal skill sets of data entry could perform i come to the end of the simulation exercise we run the simulation exercises for the various departments we start off with hr finance procurement legal insurance and then it's all the various units thank you for listening to the tutorial please be back